I've done it. I've done it. Hey everyone. As you might have noticed by my crazy dancing, I've successfully finished Vader. I managed to do 30 videos in April and I'm amazed. It was so much fun. I really had a great time. I love talking with you guys. I am happy to have a lot of new subscribers. I don't really know what number it is at the moment, but there's been a lot of new people around and I'm just glad you're here. Come join the party. I have to warn you, I will not be able to keep this up doing daily videos. No matter how much fun I had, I'm lacking time here. I fell behind on so many things in April, especially on reading. If you look at my channel, I think I didn't read that much this month. So let's start with the books I read in April. The first book I finished in April was Parallel by Christopher Kneipp. And it's the first book in a series of a young man who lives in Australia and discovers that he's not really from Australia, but from a parallel world and that he has to save all the worlds, sort of. Go check out my review. That's much better than what I just said now. Then I read a German book because I always want to read more German books and I never do. So I picked up a bestseller, The Hundred Year Old Who Climbed Out of the Window and Disappeared. And I hated it. I really didn't like the book. I kept just reading and reading and thinking it must get better at some point. But it was just like a strange Swedish version of Forrest Gump with an old guy. And the writing got on my nerves pretty soon. So there is a German review up of this one and I think Just the Dust Jacket has an English review up. So I'll link both videos here. The next book I finished was The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. And I love this. It's so cute. I love the cover, I love the design, the fairy tale story, the adventure story, everything that's going on. I just loved it. Review is up already as well. I'll link it. Click the book. Currently, I'm still reading Prodigy. I'm almost done reading it. Well, I'm halfway through, so. But I'll finish it this week and you'll have a review of it on Friday, promise. So those were the books I read. I managed to do a lot of tags and believe it or not, there are still a lot that I didn't manage to do in April. So I'll leave links for tags here somewhere and you should check them out. I also created my own tag, the big books tag. So if you want to do that, you're all tagged. Also, we discussed a lot this month and I really enjoyed doing that, like putting up these little questions and discussions and getting feedback from you. I really love what you all had to say about the desires that books create and the opinions you have on read it first or read it second because they were very diverse and I expected you all to say you need to read it first. And I really like that. I really like that this community is so diverse and we're not judging people too much for something. We're just like, well, it would be better to read it first, but so sort of like that. And I love that. Go check out all those videos and read the comments, especially the one for finding the time to read. That was an interesting one with all the opinions you had and what you think about people who say, I don't find the time to read. I can't read. I don't have time. And I really, really thought there were some good comments in the comment section. The same goes for the definition of a reading slump. It was interesting to find out what you thought is a reading slump for you. Another video that surprised me was my life as a novel. Because the comments you made, you don't look at your lives properly, I think. Your lives are probably a lot more exciting than some of you said. You know, just like, oh, nothing happens. It's like waiting for Godot or it's boring my life. Have you looked at novels? They start off boring. It's just that in novels, something more exciting happens than in real life, but that doesn't mean that your life isn't like a novel and not a good novel. Okay, preaching on. One of my last videos was about first sentences and a lot of you said I should turn this into a tag. So I'm tagging all of you to make a video about first sentences as well. Could be your favorite ones, could be first sentences you don't like, or could be first sentences of books you haven't read yet. Like I did, I just picked up random unread books. And yeah, let's just do first sentences because I think first sentences are important in books and I want to hear more. And a lot of you like the one from Pride and Prejudice, which of course is an awesome first sentence, let's just say it, despite me not always loving the novel. What else? Basically, I put all the videos I've made in April into a playlist. So I'll leave a link here. So you can go and check out either the whole playlist or you can skip the videos that you've seen and find out if you've missed any videos. 
that sometimes happens to me a lot lately. And I think I have to go back now and spend a lot of time in May reading and watching a lot of your videos that I missed. And I thank you all again. Oh, 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 one last thing. You still have time to leave questions to this video because I'm doing a Q&A and I won't have time to film it before the next weekend. So you can still leave questions there. Thank you all for watching again and thank you all for making this such a great month. I hope you had as much fun as I did and I just love you all.